Who is C. Taria? Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. It could be C. It could be C. I don't know. S. C. I. Taria. Anyways, uh, she was born on Spyro, which is part of the Core Worlds in the Lighten sector. She was the staff aide to Chancellor Valorum and eventually became his lover, banging the secretary. I like it. It's a classic move. But she attended many political and diplomatic meetings. Meetings. She assisted the Jedi to gather up more planets to join the Republic. And she overall was a very successful politician despite Valorum's uh, downfalls. She, but she couldn't overcome the Republic bureaucracies, which included, you know, the Trade Federation and taxing the free trade zones. I do think it is interesting that she was kind of a more successful politician than Valorum. You know, she had a decent amount of public support, despite being, I would say, unknown in the Star Wars universe, or at least from what we can see. You know, this is a character who shows up in Episode 1 for maybe 10 seconds total and is in the expanded universe very minimal. But she does have success on planets like Vienna, and she does help stop the Yin Kori uprising, which is something that happens during the formation of the Republic, I believe. But after Chancellor Valorum's uh, downfall and after he was removed after the vote of no confidence, she does leave politics. Despite Emperor Palpatine, despite Palpatine and her, you know, getting along up until, I believe, the vote of no confidence, probably because, you know, him... Her and Valorum were together for a bit, and then after he was removed, I don't think she wanted to remain in politics. But I think this is this is a case where, you know, like the vice president is better than the president kind of deal, where, um, the, the you know, the Padawan outshines the master in, in that kind of scenario. I would say that this is how I kind of view her. And like I said, she's not really at all in Star Wars a lot, but, uh, in terms of her, her successes and what I was able to read on the wiki, she seemed like a pretty prominent and successful politician, but someone who liked, you know, just working and not being a public figure and not really getting all hot and bothered about things going on inside the Republic and whatnot, but really just focusing on what can I do, what will I do, what has been done kind of a politician, I would say. I would definitely just see this character expanded upon in, in a book. You know, I think I, I think I stated when I was talking about Valorum that I, I would like to know a little bit more about, you know, the Valorum family and, and their, you know, their rise or his rise and, you know, some more stuff about his political, um, his political reign. And say Terra definitely, I think, has a larger part of that. You know, I think those two being kind of a power couple inside the Republic also probably leads to Valorum's downfall. You know, it never looks good when you're, you know, like I said, banging the secretary more or less. But uh, certainly an interesting character, and it's very interesting that you know this character does have a more successful political career than Valorum, despite in Star Wars, like I said, only really showing up for like 10 seconds total screen time. But that's Satara. She's pretty cool. Check her out. Check out the video. Until next video, goodbye.